I don't know many actors that make me nervous just by watching them on screen. Well, that's a lie. I know a few. Tuco Salamanca, played by the underrated Raymond Cruz in Breaking Bad, comes to mind. I never could predict when he would lose his shit. All right, we're gonna make a lot of money together. Just remember who you're working for. What did you say? Ramsey Bolton from Game of Thrones, played by Ewan Rian, is another character who just enjoyed surprising his audience in the worst possible way. You don't look like a Theon Greyjoy anymore. That's a name for Lord. But you're not a Lord. I... You're just... Meat. However, Anthony Starr has proven, and is proving, he is a force to be reckoned with. Episode 4, Wisdom of Ages, is proof that Anthony Starr deserves an Emmy. Let's talk about it. The opening scene shows an underground research facility. You see researchers doing their research thing, looking on computers, testing. And then we see a shot with a security guard. He notices all the security cameras have gone offline. He looks to the head researcher. And the head researcher looks and hears a ding as the elevator approaches their floor. We all know who's on that elevator. It was foreshadowed in the previous episode. But when those elevator doors open, we expect to see Homelander covered in gore, you know, menacing, you know, traditional Homelander stuff. But what we see is complete subversion of those expectations. We do see Homelander. But he's carrying a delicious Fudgy the Whale <laughs> ice cream cake, which is hilarious and awesome at the same time. And those cakes are delicious, by the way. There are exactly 16 seconds of silence from everyone. As Homelander exits the elevator, looks at the room, and you can tell he has this kind of feeling of melancholia and nostalgia. And he scans the room, researches that he once knew as his caretakers, so to speak. And the areas in the room that used to be his home. Anthony Starr gives a slight crack in his voice as he says, Hello, everybody. One of the researchers named Marty remembers Homelander and mistakenly calls him by his first name. An act of desperation and survival. Homelander, in a split, split second, wakes up from his nostalgia and addresses Marty. And tells him, it's just Homelander. As if to say, you are not worthy to call me by my first name. Homelander's smile reverts to this twisted, almost menacing grin. As he further tells Marty, hi Marty, it's good to see you. That's one of the great things about Anthony Starr and the Homelander character. He's able to quickly disarm and reassure you at the same time where you're scared and then he gives you like a welcome or a hi so you never really know where you stand with him you know it's not great it could it could go either way it could be 50 50 a day but anthony Starr gives that energy he gives that chaotic presence where I, i'm in the presence of someone who can just destroy me in, in a blink of an eye and i need to be on my p's and q's it was at this moment Despite the delicious fudge of the whale cake, despite Homelander's smile, that I knew everyone in this room was going to die. This episode has more in store than just Homelander. We see new dimensions from A-Train, Starlight, Huey, and Kimiko, as well as Frenchie. However, I could not wait to get back to the scenes with Homelander because the acting is so rich and multifaceted. I was grabbing the arm of my recliner in fear and anticipation for what Homelander would do next. I don't want to give too much of the episode away. I feel you all should experience it yourself. I also feel Anthony Starr should win an Emmy this year for this scene because he has an outstanding way of telling you so much of what's going on internally with Homelander. 
with just his microexpressions alone. He lets you see the cracks in his armor for just a second before he punches you through the heart. These re researchers did horrible things to Homelander when he was young. He has not forgotten. There's a part of me that can't wait for him to enact his revenge on them. But this episode shows the brutality and unfortunately banality of evil. How some people in organizations do horrible things just because it's their job. How monsters create monsters. And how those same monsters return for blood with a smile and a fudgy the whale ice cream cake. In short, Anthony Starr deserves an award. And I feel this opening scene is another example of that. He should. If you like what I had to say, feel free to like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Gabs out. Thank you.